Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to go thrifting. We are going to walk around the Frankfurt Pe uh, Peddler's Mall. So if you're local, that is where most of this footage is from. And then after that, we are going to go to the Goodwill. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you everything that I picked up today. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. Okay, this next piece made me so sad. I literally thought that butter pat was just laying in there. And the one on the bottom, once I saw that it was glued, I realized the top one was glued. So this is somebody's DIY project. And I mean, it's cute and all, but this is really why you should research what you have before you use it. Um, especially if you are a reseller because that completely ruined the value of those butter pads. And I would have bought them in a heartbeat because I never find them. So yeah, that really sucked. So this mirror that you're about to see, I actually got outbid on on a local auction and I can see why they wanted to put it in their booth. You guys, I'm on my way home from Goodwill and this was completely unexpected. I have not scored like this at Goodwill in I don't know how long, honestly. Um, I'm so excited to show you guys these finds, so definitely stay tuned. Okay guys, so we are back home and I want to share with you the things that I picked up. Now, before I show you this stuff, I want you to know I have been thrifting a ton of clothes. And obviously I'm a plus size gal. 
So if any of you are interested in seeing the plus size clothes that I pick up while I'm out at thrift stores, um, let me know in the comments because I may do a thrifted clothing haul for plus size ladies. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. But this stuff is so good. My, the prices were incredible, better than they have been because if you know Goodwill, you know. So there's that. All right. I found this butter pat. Whoa, that's bright. Okay. And overlook my fingernails. I need to redo them. But I found this cute little butter pat. Has a gold rim. Very cute. 99 cents at the Goodwill. Can you believe that? I was shocked. And to keep it with the dishes. I found a set of three of these. Um, you guys know that I'm collecting this set. I'm trying to get a full collection of them. So now I have, I'm honestly not sure, I'm going to have to count it, but I have several of these now. Um, this is the appetizer size. This was 59 cents. And I also got a set of four of the dinner size. And again, they just have the black rim. They are restaurant wear. These are unmarked, um, but they are restaurant wear, what I would consider American ironstone. But again, each piece was 59 cents, and I got a set of four of these and a set of three of the smaller ones. And I also found some pillow covers. Aren't these beautiful? Oh, I'm obsessed. These are just so pretty. The brown, black, cream, they are stunning. So I removed the inside because it was kind of like um, wool material and it had a cigarette smoke smell to it. So I removed the inside, threw all of that away, and I washed these two times. And finally I got the smell out, but they smell so good now. They're so cute. I need to stuff them and these are going to go on our bed. I think they're going to tie in really well with um, my French Provincial style in there. These are beautiful. Love these. Um, these were $1.99 a piece. And I also found this crate. Isn't it pretty? So this is an apple orchard crate. Um, very pretty. Very primitive. The wood has a really nice patina. You can tell it was handmade. And that was $2.99. I couldn't believe it because I have found these at my Goodwill before, but they have always wanted over $10 for them. But that was a really good price. I love this. Now this piece I'm going to be styling on the top of my fridge. And last but not least, Y'all know I'm looking for stone, okay? What is this? Marble, okay? Very pretty marble. I hope you can see that. The sun is like ridiculous, but it is a very pretty marble, but it's marble and brass. This is, oh, I didn't notice that. Well, I can probably put a clamp on that and clamp it down so it'll go back to its original shape. It's metal, so it'll bend back down. Um, but it's already been rewired and it is stunning. I love the patina to the brass. Very pretty. And again, y'all know this is my vibe. I'm obsessed with this. It didn't come with the harp. But I have some, so I just need to replace the harp. And sitting on the shelf, I found this little doodad. And I thought, hmm, that really looks like a finial. And it matches perfectly. So whatever harp I get, this will be the finial that I use. This was $5.99. So my plan for the lamp is to replace one in my living room 
um, that has been spray painted. I wanted something authentic, um, like authentically brass and not painted brass. Now I did score one more piece, but I can't show it to you right now. I'm going to have to do a clip and add it in for you guys because it's really big, but I got a really good price on it and I do plan to use it in a DIY coming up. So if you have cats or dogs and you're looking for a way to make a bed for them, wink, wink. Definitely don't want to miss it. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up. And I do want to let you guys know that Vintage Market Days is coming up. It's on March the 1st here in Kentucky. Um, it's going to be at the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington. So if you're local, come. I mean, that place is amazing. There are so many goodies, so many sweet people. You're definitely going to have a really good time. And if you do run into me there, feel free to say hi. I am very excited for this year because mom is coming. And if you know, I love going thrifting with my mama. She is just so funny. She makes it so fun. And I just cannot wait for us to go have such a fun little girl's day. Um, but so I'm going to have a video for market days coming out pretty soon. Um, and then I also have some more thrifted items to share with you in another video. And if you can't tell already, I painted, finally. The gray is gone and now I have painted the kitchen accessible beige by Sherwin-Williams. And I love it. It's so pretty. And I also redid the dining room a little bit. So, there's going to be a video coming out about that very soon. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think about the pieces that I got. And also let me know if you would like to see a plus size thrifted clothing haul. Um, if so, I would definitely do one of those for you guys. So yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.